in the shadowy recesses of prehistoric times, long before the written word, our ancestors embarked on a journey of innovation that laid the very foundations of modern civilization. These early humans, with their nascent curiosity and bargaining intellect, crafted tools and harnessed natural forces in ways that would forever alter the course of human evolution. The story of human invention begins in prehistoric times with the creation of basic tools. The first known tools crafted from stone, wood and bone were simple yet revolutionary, enabling early humans to cut, scrape and hunt more effectively than ever before. These tools laid the groundwork for the development of more complex technologies. The invention of tools marks the very inception of human ingenuity. From simple stone flakes used for cutting, to spears for hunting, and later, to more complex tools like bows and arrows. These inventions were pivotal. The earliest known stone tools, dating back over 3 million years, were not mere objects, they were the embodiment of early humans' ability to manipulate their environment. This era of tool making, known as the Stone Age, saw continuous improvements in design and functionality, mirroring the evolution of human intelligence and societal complexity. One of the most transformative inventions of prehistoric times was the control of fire. Approximately 1.5 million years ago, our ancestors discovered how to harness this formidable force of nature. Fire was not just a source of warmth in the cold, unforgiving nights, or a means to ward off predators. It became the heart of communal life. It allowed for the cooking of food, making it easier to digest and safer to consume, thus dramatically impacting nutrition and health. The glow of firelight facilitated social gatherings after dusk, fostering communication and the strengthening of social bonds. Perhaps no invention has had a more profound impact on the course of human history than the development of agriculture around 10,000 BCE. This monumental shift from nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyles to settled farming communities marked the beginning of civilization as we know it. Early humans learned to domesticate plants and animals, leading to the establishment of stable food supplies. This agricultural revolution laid the groundwork for population growth, urban development, and the eventual rise of empires. It also spurred the creation of new tools, from plows to irrigation systems, further accelerating human progress. The prehistoric era also witnessed the birth of art and symbolic communication. Cave paintings, such as those found in Lasso, France, dating back around 17,000 years, offer a window into the minds of our ancestors. These artworks were not merely decorative. They are believed to have served ritualistic purposes or to have been forms of storytelling and expression. Similarly, the development of language, though its origins remain shrouded in mystery, was a fundamental leap forward, enabling complex communication and the transmission of knowledge across generations. The invention of the wheel around 3500 BCE in Mesopotamia stands as a hallmark of human innovation. Initially used as potter's wheels, their application swiftly extended to vehicles, revolutionizing transportation and trade. The wheel's advent marked a significant leap in human ability to manipulate their environment, facilitating the construction of cities, the expansion of empires and the exchange of cultures and ideas. Its impact on technology and transportation is immeasurable, shaping the course of human history in profound ways. The emergence of writing systems was a groundbreaking step towards complex society. It began with simple pictographs in Sumer around 3400 BCE, evolving into cuneiform and later hieroglyphs in Egypt. These early scripts were not merely methods of record keeping but were instrumental in administration of the sprawling empires of the ancient world in the codification of laws and in the preservation of cultural and religious traditions. Writing facilitated the accumulation of knowledge, enabling civilizations to build upon the wisdom of the past and advance human understanding in myriad fields. Agriculture was the backbone of ancient societies, and the plow, which appeared in the Near East by 3000 BCE, was a revolutionary invention that increased the efficiency of farming by enabling deeper tillage of soil the plow improved crop fields, which in turn supported larger populations and gave rise to cities. The plow's significance 
extends beyond agriculture. It fostered social hierarchies and specialization, paving the way for the complex societies that would follow. It is a testament to human ingenuity in harnessing the Earth's bounty to sustain civilization. Although the magnetic compass was not invented until the 11th century CE in China, its predecessor, the lodestone, was known to ancient civilizations and used for navigation. The true magnetic compass revolutionized maritime exploration, enabling sailors to navigate the west and treacherous waters of the globe with greater accuracy. This invention was crucial for the age of exploration, leading to the discovery of new lands, the exchange of goods and ideas, and the eventual globalization of the world. The compass symbolizes humanity's quest to explore and connect the disparate parts of the world. Roman aqueducts engineered to transport water from distant sources into cities and agricultural lands exemplify ancient innovation in service of public health and urban development. Constructed from the 3rd century BC onwards, these architectural marvels utilize gravity to move water along storm, lead, and concrete channels across vast distances. Aquaducts were vital for sustaining large urban populations, for irrigation and for the operation of public baths and fountains, contributing to the hygiene and health of the society. The legacy of Roman aqueducts reflects the ancient world's understanding of the importance of water management and its role in the rise and fall of civilizations. In the mid-15th century, Johannes Gutenberg, a German blacksmith, goldsmith, printer and publisher, introduced the printing press to Europe, revolutionizing the way information was disseminated and preserved. Gutenberg's press, with its movable type, made books cheaper and more accessible, breaking the monopoly of the wealthy elite over knowledge and education. This democratization of knowledge fostered an environment for intellectual growth, leading to the Renaissance, a period of profound cultural and scientific awakening in Europe. The printing press is often hailed as the greatest invention of the second millennium. It facilitated the spread of new ideas, contributing to the Reformation and the Enlightenment, laying the groundwork for the modern, informed society. The press made it possible to share discoveries across continents, standardizing scientific knowledge and catalyzing advancements in various fields. Although gunpowder was invented in 9th century China, primarily for fireworks and later for military applications, its introduction to the medieval European battlefield dramatically transformed warfare. By the 14th century, gunpowder had begun to dictate the outcomes of battles, rendering traditional fortifications obsolete and changing the nature of Sikh warfare. The invention of cannons and firearms led to the development of new military tactics and necessitated innovations in castle and city defenses. Gunpowder's influence extended beyond the battlefield. It played a crucial role in shaping the geopolitical landscape of the Renaissance world, enabling the rise of powerful nation-states and empires. The invention of the mechanical clock in the late 13th century marked a significant leap in humanity's ability to measure and manage time. Prior to its invention, timekeeping devices were largely based on natural phenomena such as sandals or water clocks, which lacked accuracy and dependability. The mechanical clock introduced an era of precision that was previously unattainable, revolutionizing societal structures and daily routines. The impact of the mechanical clock extended far beyond telling time. It became a symbol of the changing perception of time itself. From a natural cyclical flow to a commodity that could be measured, controlled and optimized. This shift had profound implications for economic and social organization, promoting a culture of punctuality and efficiency that is still valued in the modern world. It also stimulated scientific inquiry into the mechanics of the universe, influencing the development of modern physics. The sextant, developed in the early 18th century, was not a medieval invention, but rather a product of the Renaissance innovative separate, building upon earlier navigational tools like the astrolabe and the quadrant. This precise instrument allowed sailors to determine their latitude at sea by measuring the angular distance between the horizon and the celestial bodies 
suggested sun or stars. The sextants Ecruci was instrumental in the age of exploration, enabling navigators to journey further with greater confidence, opening up new trade roads and leading to the discovery of new lands. The sextant epitomized the marriage of science and exploration, embodying the Renaissance quest for knowledge and understanding of the world. It played a crucial role in mapping the globe, contributing to the expansion of empires and integration of the world's cultures and economics. The sextant not only expanded humanity's geographical knowledge, but also enhanced our understanding of the universe's vastness and complexity. Each innovation reflects the remarkable adaptability and ingenuity of humans in their continuous quest to improve the quality of life, to understand the world and to connect with each other. These inventions propelled humanity forward, laying the groundwork for the complex, interconnected world we live in today. They remind us of our shared heritage and the timeless human spirit of innovation that continues to drive us towards a brighter future.